Let's quickly review the site architecture interface, where we will find out about the program's features and how it is structured. We will start at the top of the interface, where the toolbar is divided into three tabs, Sketch, Architecture and Furniture. In the Sketch tab, we can see the 3D modelling tools, lines, arcs, surfaces and extrusions. This tab allows us to quickly and easily carry out the conceptual design of the building and its elements. In the Architecture tab, we find the typical BIM modelling tools. Walls, floor slabs, curtain walls, loofs, stairs, windows and doors, amongst others. Within this tab, it is possible to start designing from scratch or to take advantage of the elements previously created in the Sketch tab to give them an architectural entity. From the Furniture tab, we will complete our design by adding the furniture and bathroom fittings. Finally, it is important to highlight the toolbar in the BIM Server Centre section, which is on the right side of the interface and is visible in the three tabs. By clicking on the corresponding button, we can export our job to the BIM Server Centre collaborative platform and work in an open BIM flow in order to develop the rest of the project's disciplines. Now, let's move on to the small toolbar located at the top of the interface. This toolbar, which is found throughout site programs, allows users to manage the snap options, activate the grid, to define their dimensions upon introducing each element, or load external references such as plans and images. Another important part of the interface is the left side panel. From here, we can mainly do two things, create and manage the views of our project, and organise the elements that make it up into layers. The view section will be used to create the 3D, elevation, section, ceiling plan and floor views, as well as to navigate between the different views. And it is in the layer section where we can manage the elements of the job to organise them as most convenient. We can lock the layers or turn them off in order to model more easily. In the lower part of the interface, there is another small toolbar which describes the next steps to be taken with the selected tool. It is an excellent guide to orientate the user in the use of the different tools. The majority of the program's edit panels are dynamic, allowing us to draw and edit elements in real time. To accept the changes made to an element and so that they are reflected on screen, click on Enter. The program also has static panels where we have to enter the element's data first and then draw it. Unlike the dynamic ones, these panels do not allow data to be modified in real time and so you have to click on Accept for the changes to be reflected on screen.